Hi Aquarius, welcome to your mid-July reading. I'll begin right away with an oracle card. See what your main vibe is for the second half of July. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your good vibes. Thank you for your subscribes. I really appreciate all of you. All right, Aquarius. You know that's my sun sign, so let's see what's going on this one. Loneliness, I know that I am never alone. Exactly. Whenever I feel lonely when I'm traveling, I always call one of my friends or I make the effort to go and talk to people in the community or that are staying in the same hostel or hotel or wherever I am. And that really takes away this feeling of loneliness. Also have my pets with me this time because I actually was missing my cat when I used to travel all the time without her. And I was like, not this time. She's coming with me. <laughs> so maybe that'll resonate with you. And I just love the community of people in that circle there. So you might want to go to sharing circles or start a sharing circle, but just know that there is a community out there for you. All you have to do is go and find it. Okay. Ace of Swords. Yes, let me actually grab one more. Ooh, and the hangman flies out too. All right. So the Ace of Swords and the hangman. I feel like you had this epiphany and this spark with this air energy, which is our main element. So I do love that. And then with the hangman, it's all about surrendering to the spark or this epiphany that you had and just knowing that you don't have to fight it and really, why would you want to? <laughs> That's what I'm picking up on for you. All right, let's keep going. I'm actually just going, oh no, the focus is cool. I don't really want to touch the camera because it might fall <laughs> off the desk. All right, Eight of Swords. This is the past or outside influence. So just know that as an air sign, sometimes we can get caught up in our head, we can overthink situations, and just know that at any moment you can take off the blindfolds, you can remove the strings that are keeping you down because they really aren't. They are just an illusion. Whatever prison or whatever feelings that you have where you feel trapped or confined, just know that you can be reborn. And I'm saying that because the death card comes up, but this really is my card of the death of the ego and just really taking off those blindfolds, seeing yourself for who you really are, and that's really going to bring that rebirth moment for you. But I am feeling that you did have this dark night of the soul moment with the death card and the eight of swords, so that was intense for you, so just I am going to put the love stone on there because you have to bring in that self-love practice and just know that you were born enough. That's really the main message I'm feeling. All right, page of pentacles flies up. So this is my card of taking the baby steps to ground down, to bring any new ideas into this earthly realm. And I'm gonna pull one more. It could have to do with this epiphany too because it's beside the Ace of Swords. Let's see. Ooh, and the High Priestess. Love this card for us. This is about tapping into your intuition and also trusting your intuition as well. So that could have been part of the block. You really weren't trusting yourself here with the Eight of Swords. So you were feeling that hardcore anxiety. And it's also about planting some roots. And I'm feeling that also for myself. I'm finally going to rent a house and also i'm also i'm also i'm also gonna look for land where i can build a house too so if that resonates with you that's really exciting page of swords so your person or situation if this is a love reading for you they really see you as being self-sufficient also taking that deep dive into the self-study you're also having the light bulb moments and that really matches the Ace of Swords for me. 
But I love the Page of Swords actually above the death and rebirth because it's saying that you're ready to be reborn and you're starting to take the baby steps as a page, double page here, to start something fresh with this Ace of Swords. Ooh. And the lovers flies up. <laughs> this has been coming up a lot lately. I think in your last reading too. So your person really does see you as having this fiery connection, as being someone that they do want to have a love romantic relationship with. And that could have been part of the anxiety. It's above the Eight of Swords. Maybe you had a bit of anxiety about going into a love relationship. It can be a little bit I, daunting that's the word that's coming in so I'm just gonna say it you might have felt that way but just know that with the high priestess here you can really trust your intuition and you can trust the spark that you had with the ace of swords all right but I will clarify that after because now I'm interested as well <laughs> all right so intentions moving forward for the second half of July is all about being the queen of swords but also not having your heart on lockdown. You really want to keep your heart space open and really surrender to any feelings that you have for someone because it's above the hangman. Keeper, I'm filming, buddy. We'll go for a walk soon. All right, let's keep going. Sorry about that. Page, oh no, five of cups. I want, why did I want to say page of cups? Hmm. There could be a younger water sign. Maybe that's why. You do also have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Okay, but let's get into this Five of Cups. This for me is saying that you still have a little bit of emotional regret of something from the past. And she's looking towards the Five of Cups. So that could be why you had your heart on lockdown here because of something from the past. You're still, you're still being affected by this water element. And I feel like the intention moving forward is to focus on the cups that you still have. So focus on the abundance that is still within your life. There's really no point in ruminating about what happened in the past because that's gonna prevent you from creating that life of abundance moving forward. All right, and you really don't wanna get sucked back into the Eight of Swords here either. Ooh, I love that. So the Five of Cups is moving into the Nine of Cups. So as I was saying, just focusing on the abundance, focusing on your wishes, really keeping that heart space open. You can see she's like fully open and that's really what brings in those wishes that you want. Love that actually so much. I'm gonna put the Healing Stone on the Five of Cups for you. All right, one more message from the universe for Aquarius. Two of Swords, okay. So you're still undecided. You still have a decision to make. And I'm feeling there's really no rush on this decision. Whenever we rush any decision, especially as an air sign, sometimes we tend to make the wrong decision. And that could have been part of the regret with the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords from the past. All right. But I do like how it's above the high priestess. So even though the blindfold is on, it's all about taking off the blindfold in this reality, but then closing the eyes and going within and trusting your intuition there with the high priestess. All right, let's clarify this reading. Whoa, I almost dropped all of the cards. Okay, I'm curious about the lovers. Let's see what's going on here this one. Ooh, the Queen of Cups. So this is a beautiful balance to the Queen of Swords. So your person does see you as being this nurturing person, this creative person, this intuitive person with the High Priestess there. So even if you do feel a little bit of anxiety about this lovers coming in or someone that you love, just know that they see you as being this open person. Oh, that's so beautiful, actually. I love that. All right, let's clarify this Five of Cups. What happened in the past? Also, the Eight of Swords, too. What happened? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. So I felt like a past relationship, one that could have been with a younger water sign, 
but really the Knight of Cups is something that was fleeting. I'm feeling something that happened in the past that was just not long term or possibly you were an option amongst others or vice versa. Whatever resonates with you with that is causing you this feeling, this emotional distress with the Five of Cups and then the mental anguish as well with the Eight of Swords. But you're really moving beyond that with the pages here, I'm feeling. Not quite ready to make a decision, no, with this two of, cup, two of Swords, excuse me. Let's clarify that actually, this Two of Swords. For the decision, message from the universe for Aquarius, second half of July. This one. Oh, the Fool, yes. So this is all about starting a new cycle and starting fresh and trusting in the universe, trusting in your intuition because it's above the high priestess and just know that you are taking these steps with all of the pages. And remember I said the page of cups, but even though it's not here, for me that clarifies you are moving in the right direction. And I love that this card is actually taking that step forward too, possibly into the unknown, but as you trust and as you move forward, your wishes are going to be rolling in here with the Nine of Cups. And it's also going to make you feel less lonely too with the Oracle that we pulled in the beginning because once you feel connected to the universe, you never really feel lonely. Or once you feel more connected to the earth, you never really feel that sense of loneliness. Whenever I'm in nature or hiking, I am never feel lonely. There's so much going on. There's so many animals. There's so much vibes around you that you just feel so alive. All right, oracles, Aquarius, final messages. Oh, number nine, tenderness. I love this card. True love and compassion. So this goes so beautiful with the lovers that we pulled earlier. And also just to have that true love and compassion for yourself for whatever happened in the past or with this decision that's coming with the two of swords. But how cute is this energy? It's also a nice message to clarify going into nature, connecting with animals, and just feeling that sense of connection with the universe. Love that. It's not really in the camera, but to show you, so. <laughs> All right, final oracle. And then I really do have to take my dog for a walk. It's almost sunset here in Tulum, so. All right, this one. Oh, nice. Collaboration, number 38. I actually love this card. It really balances out the loneliness card. So finding your tribe, finding your people, collaborate with the beautiful people in your life. For me, as an example, I'm starting a podcast with one of my beautiful friends. And then with one of my other friends, I'm starting a women's group where we're meeting we're not sure like how often we're going to be meeting, but I will keep you posted on that. So if that resonates with you, but for me, it's really just, yeah, coming together with old friends, attracting new friends, possibly starting a vision board or writing down the type of community or tribe that you want to attract. And that'll bring it in faster as well, but it's all about collaboration for the second half of July. Love that. Healing. That's going to be healing. Put the healing stone on there for you. All right, Aquarius. I'm going to leave it there. Hope you found some clarity from this one. Enjoy the second half of July and I'll see you going into August. Bye for now.